Hey, what's up? Um, just doing a quick video on the AMD Wraith cooler. <coughs> uh, I mine's came with my Ryzen Seven. Um, I couldn't find a video on this, so I thought I'd better make one. Um, so it was just on how to take it off the uh, the copper block uh, heat cooling stack that you find here. Um, you might want to do this to clean it out. So I don't know if you can see there; it's getting pretty dusty on the inside, and then. In between the fans and stuff, I've actually mo removed a lot of the fluff, but there's still a little bit up here. Um, I'm actually doing this because I was wanting to reuse this fan because I've recently upgraded to an all-in-one cooler. But anyway, um, <clears throat> how do you actually take it off? Because it took me a little bit of time to figure it out. So, um, when installed, it sits like this. And actually, the thing that's holding this onto here, first I thought it was these screws in the corner here, but it's not. That's just the frame that holds the uh, the fan in. It's actually it's actually these clips here. Which if I can get it to focus would be great. Go. So we do that from the side here. So as you can see, it's just a little notch bit there that clips into this part here. So. Basically all I did was I took two different flat heads, wedged them in at the side here to unclip it and then just tilted it over like this. Oh, focus please. No. There you go. Tilted it over like this. But you had, I had to get something into both sides to pull these parts off so I could clip it out. So relatively straightforward, nothing too too crazy there. Um, and then to put it back, presumably you just clip it on at one side and then push it down at the other and the clips will just pop back in. Um, cool. Well, hopefully this is helpful to you. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to reuse this fan somewhere else in my case because it seems, seems alright. Um, but yeah, cool. Thanks.